Secret ID is your key to accessing secret products, online training materials, and support resources available in MySequent. Think of it as your secure personal login that makes managing your essential geoscience solutions easy. In this video, we will discuss how to create a Sequent ID if you don't already have one, and then how to use it to sign into LeapFrog. We will also cover when and how to release your seat for LeapFrog, depending on your subscription type. To create a Sequent ID, visit my.sequent.com and use your business email address to create one. You'll be asked to verify your email address and then you'll be set to go. If you or your organization have purchased a LeapFrog subscription, an entitlement will be applied to your Sequent ID, allowing you to access the relevant products and extensions. There are different LeapFrog subscription plans available to suit the needs of you and your company. These include named seat, shared seat, or consultant seat, plus or minus possible extensions. The sign-in process for each of these plans is similar, and we will cover each option in this video. If you have any questions about the different subscription plans, please contact your local sequent office. Once LeapFrog is installed, it's easy to get up and running. Access to LeapFrog 2021.1 is provided via the Sequent Connector, which you will initially sign into from your default web browser. The steps shown in this video are using Chrome. The experience will look slightly different if you are using Firefox, Edge, or Internet Explorer as your default browser. Sequent Connector is a self-updating system tray application that handles the authentication and authorization required to run Sequent applications. Now, signing in and out of products is easy and can be done in one step. You'll only need to enter your credentials once, even for access to multiple products. There are also notifications when there have been activity on central projects you have access to, depending on how your notifications are configured in the central portal. When you open LeapFrog, it will automatically launch a new tab in your default web browser. In this new tab, sign in with your sequent ID first email, then password. If this is your first time signing into Sequent Connector, your web browser will likely ask if you would like to open Sequent Connector. If you would like to not see this message again, tick the box for Always Allow. Click Open Sequent Connector and you will advance to a second tab, Sequent License Selection. The options in this tab may vary slightly depending on what LeapFrog subscription plan you have. If you are licensed for multiple products, Geo and or Works and or Geothermal, this is where you would select which product you would like to work in. Choose the appropriate organization and group, if applicable, and duration of checkout. It's always better to take a little more time than you think you might need. If you're doing remote work for an extended period of time and you have the option available, be sure to choose a duration that will cover the entire time you are away from internet access. Any extensions available to your group will be listed. Choose the extensions you need for your session. Note, you'll need internet access to sign into LeapFrog, but once you're signed in, LeapFrog will stay active even without internet for your chosen duration of checkout or until you release your seat. Once you've made your selections, click Get Started. LeapFrog will be brought back to the forefront and it's ready to use. You can now close the sign-in and license selection tabs as they serve no further purpose. When you close LeapFrog, you will be presented with the option to release your seat or simply quit. If you are using a shared seat subscription and you're done working in LeapFrog, it is important to release your seat so that other members of your group can access it. If you're still planning to use the seat for the duration of your initially selected checkout period, or if you're working offline, simply select Quit. Quitting LeapFrog will not release your seat. If you are using a named seat subscription, you are the only entitled user and releasing your seat is typically unnecessary. You will only need to release your seat if you would like to start using LeapFrog on a different device. With Sequent Connector, quitting LeapFrog does not sign you out. You will notice in your system tray that you are still signed in to Sequent Connector, even if you have shut LeapFrog and released the seat. If you would like to fully sign out of Sequent Connector, 
right click the tray icon and select sign out. Follow the prompts in your web browser to complete the sign out process.